What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So I'm going to check out 20 minutes of WWE wrestlers hilariously breaking the fourth wall. It happens. Sometimes wrestlers say, you know what? We're going to we're gonna break the fourth wall here. I'm going to be talking to the people that's watching uh, at home. They may get the reference. They uh, may understand what's going on. Or they may not understand what's going on. It's, it's a rarity that it does happen. When it does happen, it's kind of one of those easter egg things like oh if you know you know maybe you get the reference maybe you don't so we're gonna check out some of these instances of wrestlers breaking the fourth wall appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel let's get right into it man is this, this on, on? From mentioning things they're not supposed to talk about to exposing overused tropes. Wrestlers can break the fourth wall in a variety of different ways kevin owens does this so much and i love it i fucking love it every time he breaks the fourth wall it's fucking fantastic. I love Kevin Owens, man. He's he's great, man. Promo kid, Shut your mouth, if you want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it. So go ahead. See you, fourth wall. Today, we'll highlight the numerous times talent gave a wink and a nudge to the audience <laughs> by listing 10 fourth wall breaking moments in WWE. Oops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. After WCW closed and until around 2022 when Triple H took over creative, it was incredibly rare for WWE to ever mention another wrestling promotion. Mm -hmm. And I will walk on someone else's television show and keep doing this, brother. This was intentional, as on TV, WWE was meant to be in its own bubble, where no mm -hmm. other company existed, essentially. Despite this, there were some times that other companies were hinted at. You know what, we appreciate you being here and, you know, being all in. Mm -hmm. The road dog, Jesse James! The new age outlaws! The other guy's doing something with office equipment these days, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he can't fire me. <laughs> he will buy that piss ant company just to fire you again. You've been protected by the shield. Hell, you almost ruined Seth Rollins. You ran Dean Ambrose out of WWE. You've had. Yep. Yeah. It's the thing. They, they make their little references. They do. WWE has made their references to AEW. AEW does the same thing. The only thing is, AEW definitely does it a lot more. But hey, they make their references. And that's. That's fine. As long as it's not the majority of your show talking about another company, in a sense, if you're not working with them, that's the only thing. But, you know, it happens, bro. It's part of the business. And after nearly 40 years, the great Sting has retired from professional wrestling. Thanks for the memories. And here's the thing. I can respect that. That is dope. That wasn't a shot at AEW. That was just showing respect to the wrestler's thing. I thought that was classy. Would that have happened in the Vince McMahon era? Fuck no. But that was cool. If you're doing something like that, that is cool. That is respectable. I think uh, Tony Khan had, you know, talked about uh, Roman Reigns' father, wishing him uh, rest in peace to him, uh, his father, and uh, Roman Reigns' uncle, uh, the Wild Samoans. Like, they, you know, I think he had mentioned it. I don't know if they talked about it on the show, but I do believe he had mentioned it on uh on the, the official AEW twitter so when things like that happen they mention wrestlers that wrestled in another company or whatnot it's not even about tribalism there it's just to show respect you know certain situations like that i can appreciate congratulations to stay absolutely epic match last night i'm an executive executive vice president if apparently if you put executive vice president in front of anybody's name they feel important there's no way that ten thousand mm. people would pay to see me and my buddy's little indie show every single day that you were gone you and your little friends you tried to tear down what i was building here and you ran away you started a company and a promotion that you couldn't get over in Jeez. <laughs> For this section, we're focusing on times that are actually good mentioned by back and name. Forth Maybe I'll go defend it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Maybe I'll go back to Ring of Honor. Hey, Cole Cabana, how you doing? Come on, come on. Come to Ring of Honor! Come on. All right! Uh, TNA is better than WWE. Well, then why are you calling our show, retard? Uh, <laughs> but it's a different time. The fact that he said that, he called him that. It's a different time, bro. <laughs> yeah, which I doubt. I think it airs uh, Sunday night at 4 a.m. in Japan. TNA sucks, says someone. That's good. Kid Cash, <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. TNA Total Nonstop Attitude. And now they're they're mentioning it more since they're doing collaborations with them on NXT and TNA and what they've been going doing. Like it's crazy what world we're living in where this is this is a thing. I'm the only reason for some total nonstop action. Well, after, after, by the way, at <laughs> my tag team division is full. Yeah, this is. But cold. I hear that TNA is hiring. <laughs> Quite frankly, you could ask me anything. You could have asked me about AEW. Hey. Sammy, hey, so <laughs> the page. Yeah. Wasn't he an A? Whoa, 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 whoa. Trick. He also quit New Japan Pro Wrestling. You quit Ring of Honor. This man right here helped start up a company. And you quit it too. Actual illusion is when a performer's past <laughs> words are made Good light of doing between a them too. scripted role. This dude must be your barber. In wrestling, this breaks the fourth wall during instances where wrestlers' past characters are mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's more painful than having to be Simon Dean on national TV. Also know that <laughs> the fiend is Bray Wyatt is Husky Harris is a guy in a mask. For example, Kane's <laughs> previous gimmicks as the Christmas creature and Isaac Yankum DDS. A monster uh -huh. who wears a red mask, covers himself in fire, and gets real and easy around the holidays or trips to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> A long time ago, there was a guy here in the WWE by the name of uh, Isaac Yankum DDS. He was a dentist. He would have matched up well against Snitsky. It would have been a great contest. <laughs> he resembles the current superstar. Do you think he's related to Kane and all? They a lot of life. They are childish. <laughs> was he going to go there? Uh, that guy doesn't look very familiar. Another type of example is when <laughs> real life matters that also aren't meant to be canon in WWE are brought up on television. Like in the case of Triple H, who from 2002 to 2009 wasn't supposed to still be married to Stephanie McMahon on WWE yeah. TV, despite the two having legitimately tied the knot during this time. I uh -huh. see you for what you truly are. A no good lying bitch. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Signing those divorce papers today was one of the hardest things I have ever oh, had to wait, do. Wait, wait, would you please stop? <laughs> what happened with Michael Jackson today is nothing compared to what I got away with when I was making out with your wife behind your back. <laughs> Everybody made out with my ex-wife, so what? However, there were- And it's crazy because they were still married. <laughs> Few occasions where them still being together was hinted at on WWE programming. Just um, be careful, okay? The first public photo of the newest member of the McMahon family. She looks familiar, but I, I just can't seem to put my finger on it. <laughs> hey, Steph. That I embarrassed you. <laughs> All right, Steph, see you at home. Oh, I mean, uh, your brother's a gnome. Marrying the <laughs> boss to get ahead in business? Who thinks up that kind of stuff? <laughs> in a similar event to our previous entry, mentioning a wrestler's real name smashes down the fourth wall. Mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan might be done, but uh, Brian Danielson, God knows what, what's going to happen to him. And so I say to you, Dwayne. Oh, please, well, well, please, Terry. Terry, don't do this to me, man. It's usually done in feuds that hit on issues rooted in reality. Does yeah, they only bring out real names if they're trying to sell the idea of the feud really getting personal, really getting serious. Now you're trying to blur the lines of what's real, what's not. It. Doesn't, I'm glad they don't do it all the time. It needs to be like on serious, serious feuds, you know, that you're trying to build up. They don't do it all the time, you know, having you call the wrestler's real name. Thus further blurring the lines and adding a more true to life element to the story. You know, Undertaker, Mark, I'm standing mm -hmm. in the ring right here. There's one more thing, Mark. It's about time you got brought down to reality. What I do see is a broken down old man named Mark Galloway. Mm -hmm. AJ Styles. Or should I say, Alan Jones. Mm, yeah. I was involved in a six year relationship with Amy Dumas. This was good, bro. I don't care what. I know some people are like, man, it's kind of tasteless. 
real life relationships and all this other stuff. But I'm not going to lie to you. This feud was really be good for the simple fact that you knew it was real. This wasn't a work. This was actually a real life situation that they turned into a storyline. And one of the best feuds Matt Hardy and Edge has been in. One of them, for sure. Uh, better known as Lita. Adam, you've been married and divorced multiple times before you were 30 years old. I think that speaks volumes right there. Get you to sign this contract. Oh my God, still... listen to yourself, Sean. Yeah. Roman Reigns is nothing more than a lazy stooge named Joe. They're the ones who hold you up, just like me and Mox did in The Shield. The mm -hmm. Usos are your pedestal. I'm not here as the American dream tonight. I'm here as Virgil Runnels, and I, and I want the McMahons to hear what I got to say. What's going on? Huh? Paul? 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 Oh, please, please, Paul, don't hurt him. You okay? You all right? You all right? Okay? Don't move. I can't go by leg. Don't move. Jesus, Jesus Christ, don't move. This is right, Phil, right? I, mean, I can call you Phil, right? <laughs> Phil, what the hell are you doing, Phil? Phil! What are you doing? Right now, this isn't CM Punk talking to mm -hmm. Triple H. This is Phil Brooks talking Phil to Paul, Paul Levesque. Levesque. Although sometimes the talent's real name can also be said by accident. Is IRS here? Uh, Mr. Rotundo. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Rotundo, can you hear us? Kevin Nash! You're like a Neanderthal! Did you hear that, McMahon? Kevin Nash? <laughs> no. You know who that is? No! It says he's going to end the career of Cody Runnels before it gets started here tonight. Oh, Over the oh. barricade with Alexa Bliss! Where is she? Where is Lexi? Where's Lexi? My girl Nikki B here definitely has the glow. Aw, Trent, so sweet. It's Trent. true. Yeah. Have the Intercontinental Champion as their LeBron James. Oh, Trent, that's exactly what I am. By Devon, Devon Dudley. <laughs> Devon. Stop it. Come to think of it, Stu, you would have fit in great with your lumberjack shirt from last week for this matchup. My name is Wade, first of all. My name's Wade. <laughs> I don't think I've got enough rhythm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Riley, you just whine, and Joe, I mean, horrible. Michael, <laughs> you'll be a star in no time. But I talked to Nia Jackson. She had a lot to say on the, te the teammate between her and uh, uh, Tamina. Sorry. Remy, you, should, you shouldn't worry about getting pinned. Insider terms are used by wrestlers behind the scenes to break down the nuts and bolts of the business. So it's a nice peek behind the curtain for fans whenever these terms crop up on screen. You think when I would come out to these arenas as a as a good guy, as a baby face, and mm -hmm. they would boo me unmercifully. I even told you it wouldn't be long before you became a huge baby face. What's a baby face? That is now she's doing the game with a with a heel the heel of that boot. That's a heel for a heel. A heel for a heel. Increase my work rate. I could add to the five moves of doom, or maybe let my heel persona shine through. I, I got it. I got it. How about a little heel turn? That's what they wanted. You audibly hear those people so desperately wanting me to change the content of my character. Maybe a little heel turn. Now we're thinking of the big marks for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> And also, we have on the panel with us tonight the man who the internet wrestling marks used to make headlines. That Vince McMahon <laughs> has got marvelous Mark Merrill wrestling a jobber. <laughs> the jobber always loses. Don't sit out here in kayfabe like an idiot. Come on, Rock. What? Kayfabe. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> the old no sell. The old no sell. I put an end to your dreams and I bury Daniel Bryan. The WWE and Vince McMahon famously had a host of ban words that weren't allowed to be used mm -hmm. by any talent on TV. However, they were still slipped through from time to time. Beat the very best wrestlers. wrestlers. Superstars. Superstar, sure. Superstar wrestlers, whatever it may be. Okay. We All right. Hospital. We may end up in the local medical facility. Because I want the title shot you promised me. 
Universal Championship belt. Oh, mm -hmm. It's a title. A belt holds up your pants. <laughs> Each mm -hmm. WWE show has its own format and script, something the kayfabe audience doesn't exactly need to know, but yet this has been referenced on television on a few occasions. Go to uh, WWE, dial 86946 and vote mm. for <laughs> <laughs> Usually in instances where the wrestlers acknowledge that promos are scripted and written out ahead of time. Listen to this, Rock. I want you to get your TV writers that write all your comedy stick for you <laughs> and get them to write you a eulogy. Rock's fans know that he writes all of his material, but The Rock just did quickly write something real fast. The phenom who claims to be from hell. Come on down so The Rock can check your candy ass in to the SmackDown Damn, Hotel. <laughs> promo you're not in the show until the short segment <laughs> oh, we have to take the shine off the shining stars i didn't write that because i didn't write that the rock has something written on his wrist just like i don't need my notes for my promo on my wrist yeah he was he was pissed <laughs> he was definitely mad at him for doing that shit. He was fucking mad, bro. He was he was upset. <laughs> set of balls on you, brother. Set of balls. He has an entourage of his little goons. He's got Brian. You saw his picture on the Tonight Show, the guy who writes all of his jokes. Did John Cena write that promo for you, huh? <laughs> you say the same stuff? <laughs> WWE tends to have a lot of recurring and often overused tropes, stuff that is considered commonplace and rarely called out for what it is. So it usually makes for a fun moment. Contract signings, you know there's gonna be some shenanigans. Moment whenever talent expose such cliches by either mentioning them directly or by simply doing the opposite of what typically happens in a similar situation. This is the biggest WWE cliche I've ever seen. This is the staple cliche. This is a contract signing. They always end in a Pier 6 brawl. Yeah. I mean, when's the last time we had one of these contract signings that didn't end in some sort of horrible physical calamity? What are you talking about? Hey. We all know how this is going to end anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you ever notice that every time somebody comes down that ramp for Monday Night Raw, they just get a microphone and talk about what happened last week? You know what? Tonight, I am going to do the exact same thing. Because I'm a little bit upset about what happened last week. Last week, we, we said your name, then your music, uh -huh. and you came out. That makes sense. But this isn't how things work, okay? What do you think? This is the Wild West? You can just hit your music and come out without anybody saying your name. No, that doesn't make sense. you got to wait for somebody to call you out before you come out. What the hell is this? No. No. Kevin Owens is so great. This is why we love Kevin Owens, bro. <laughs> Every time we ban somebody from ringside or we ban somebody from the arena, they always show up. Can we not yeah. afford good security? <laughs> we are a billion steps. dollar yes. company. You guys are security? <laughs> so I could have sworn you were rosebuds last week. I would <laughs> so much rather be bald than have them pipe in fake crowd noise for my matches because nobody Ooh, cares. Geez. I always thought they were pumping in that noise. I didn't realize how loud it actually was when you were out here. I'm gonna vent for a second. What we just saw happens in every Rumble match and it drives me up a wall. If somebody's in the process of getting eliminated, why would you go and try to eliminate the person who's trying to eliminate the other person? Well, because you're Because it's stupid. Well, you're to, like, <laughs> add to your, your record, right? Or... No, it's about WrestleMania. The only that's, reason that's, you were right. WWE Champion for a year is because Triple H didn't want to work Tuesday. <laughs> the last few days have been a bit of a blur and they all rolled into one and I mean it still feels like it's Tuesday to me today. Like how wrestlers never <laughs> look at the Tyrantron, despite it showing replays and typically presenting a full view of where the opponent yeah. could be in the ring. Maybe he did hurt his knee. And he didn't hurt his knee. <laughs> He's watching Eddie's antics in the Tron. I might try to take advantage. Oh, look out! Whoa. Uh -huh. There's a giant TV screen right there. I can see it from a mile away. <laughs> Paul making an escape back underneath the ring. But... <laughs> Next, we have some more moments that are considered to be fourth wall breaks that fit into a number of different categories. Ashley will have to deliver this one, but Goldberg do your end right. back in the ring. But it is, I'm thinking Goldberg was supposed to go up for the jackknife. <laughs> <laughs> by bringing up and showing things the viewers aren't usually meant to see or know about. Triple H, wait a yep. minute. Hey, you were a bad guy. I was a good guy. You were a good guy. That's 
I'm not going to go on a profanity-ridden tirade. You don't need a seven-second delay, Kevin. I'm not going to show my genitalia. What's going on, man? You're not going to talk to me now? Done a commercial. Go. Oh! That was a... I, I like that. I do like that. That was... That was definitely kind of cool. I do appreciate just that little moment. Like, what's up, man? He just walked right up to him and he's like, go to commercial. Like, like it wasn't supposed to be seen. Now they actually do it on the regular. Like for these long entrance shots, they'll have them follow them through Gorilla and into the to the ring, which I appreciate. So oh, it's gonna crush the rock. Man, don't, don't, don't pity me. <laughs> walks a Leah and a camera operator in the women's locker room. This is She's unbelievable. It's fun schedule. No one told me about this. Well, there's cameras in here. It'd be kind of weird if there were cameras in the locker room if we didn't have an interview. Historically, <laughs> WWE it was not common to see a wrestler look or talk directly into the camera. This was something WCW utilized far more. Now, Buff Bagwell and Joe Gomez in the next matchup here on WCW Monday Nitro. But over time, we'd see it happen in WWE more regularly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Resulting in some funny and interesting moments. Mm -hmm. You stay here. I want this camera here. All right. Okay. I want this camera to document everything that we're gonna do. Been here for minutes. You minutes. Come on. Not what music is that? What music is that? <laughs> and I'm sick of all of you. My GM sitting there criticizing me. Such a great segment, the bro. I'm the one here, day in and day so out, good. in that wrestling ring, beating people up. And I was getting ready to quit. Now I got a shot for the Intercontinental title. Wow! At 275 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> That's his 290. The last two sections will look at wrestlers who are particularly good at talking directly to the camera, but each in different ways, starting with John Cena, whose entrance was unique in that he could be seen speaking directly to the viewer at home. Mm -hmm. oh, As well as the cameraman <laughs> Stu. Stu! <laughs> Shout out to you, Stu, man. <laughs> the unsung hero. We definitely need to see that Stu cameraman action on John Cena's last run next year in 2025. Stu and John Cena, we need to we need that interaction one more year, one more time before John Cena rides off into the sunset. It must happen. Let's go to work. Let's go to work, Stu. Let's go to work, Stu. Stu, let's go to work, Daddy. It's been too long, Stu. I missed you, man. It was always fun to hear what John would say as he shared a nice moment with those watching around the world. Hello, over here. Hey, let him hate. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound as good as the Paul Heyman remix. <laughs> I love you, that means the world to me. Let's go to work. During the period with no fans in attendance, Roman Reigns' speaking ability excelled as he talked mm -hmm. trash to his opponents and to the people watching on TV. And you can hear it. When I got it, you don't get out. Tell the whole world that so I am good. the head of the table, the tribal chief, the boss. I got him, I got him. We're gonna teach him a lesson tonight. <laughs> squeezing the life out of him. My arm is an extra big. Movie executives, Hollywood, I apologize. But I'm gonna hurt this man. <laughs> oh, and that's Randy Orton right there. That is where Randy. That's Randy Orton. <laughs> that little back, Randy. Allowed to ad lib and free from the handcuffs of scripted so generic babyface promos, so Reigns good. was able to shine, becoming good. Lib and free from the. But I'm gonna um, hurt this man. Just the the shot he sent at Randy Orton around that time too. Not gonna be good. Oh, and that's Randy Orton right there. That is where Randy. That's Randy Orton. That's 
<laughs> Allowed to ad lib and free from the handcuffs of scripted generic babyface promos, Reigns was able to shine, becoming a great mm -hmm. tribal heel, all while the viewing audience got a front row experience of his new and vastly improved character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sitting at home. <laughs> Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. <laughs> I'm the head of the table. I'm the tribal chief. Your tribal chief. I'm gonna make it personal. Because it's always been personal. I'm tired of being humble. This this was fire, bro. The shit he was talking all the way up the ramp. That shit was fire. That was that was a cold little little situation, man. Just him talking his shit all the way up the ramp. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure Some to good check stuff, out a similar bro. video of ten of the Some good stuff, man. That's, that's, gotta like this video. He, he kills it with these vids, man. Y'all go subscribe to Wrestling Flashback if you haven't already. Some good stuff. It's just those little, little things that make, you know, uh, a character that much better. Just talking to the camera, talking your trash to the camera, talking to the people at home, letting them know, hey, acknowledge me. I'm him. I run this. Just those little things just can add that much more to a wrestling character. This was definitely dope. Just seeing, you know, wrestlers break the fourth wall and, and seeing those interactions. Comment down below. Let me know some other wrestling videos y'all want me to check out. Appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel. Road 2, 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See you on the next one. Peace.